Hey guys, welcome back. It's a good feeling when you've accomplished something, right? Yes, it is. So our monument's not finished yet. This is the most outstanding construction project in decades. We're still in phase two, but Soko asked me to destroy these vehicles. So I thought I'd start recording. Alert. Crime rate has reached critical level. Warning. Vehicle under attack. Warning. Vehicle under attack. Warning, vehicle under attack. The ship even sinks underwater. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> awesome. Crime, right? Registering energy shortage. If you're wondering where I got these ships from, I got them from Stringberg. If you go to the Diplomacy menu which I got them from Rufus Thorn and I clicked on Auxiliary Fleet so he gave me about 5 ships I also had to broker a peace with Hector the peace ends in 14 minutes so I'm not sure how that's going to go how that's going to go down. I assume you were successful. Spasiba. And here is your share of profit. Spasiba. Registering I don't know what that means. Excellent. So this is Hector. He's got quite a number of ships. All right. They're pretty weak. 300 hit points, 13 damage. So, I think these guys can hold him off. Gonna need a repair dock here. Look at the little repair drones. They fly out and they start fixing the ship. Got a little icon here. So 
So we'll see in about 40 minutes, 14 minutes, if he's going to attack again. Also, I've got a new arc model, because I completed the campaign. And they let me choose a different model, so that's the new one I have. Looks more alien-like, I guess. I expanded the city a little bit. Upgraded a few houses. And now we've run out of health food. Which is bad. So I need some more vegetables. Heaps more. Warning. Production breakdown. Rare Earth Aura. Production breakdown. Another manganese extractor. Extractor. Hardly any room on this underwater island. Okay, so there's the updated city. Expanded a bit over here. Upgraded a few houses. Our resources are all fine except for health food. Game saved. These are our factories. So we've got plenty of rice, 180 tons. And 11 vegetables, so we need to produce a lot more vegetables. I made one, two, three, four extra ones. Hopefully, that'll catch up. I upgraded a few more houses here few more researchers and I built the information center like for the ecos it's got different channels it's got a screen here one there if we turn around it's got a massive screen on this side 
So that looks pretty cool. Also made a couple more corn farms. Just to produce some more service bots. So this map doesn't have uh, that many islands. It's more of a medium map size. So if I want to really expand and start building the global trust, probably do it on this island. This island looks a lot, uh, you know, a lot more duller than my one. Like the the atmosphere. I think this has a low eco balance. It just looks really dreary. Whereas here it's a lot more brighter. The trees are green. But here the trees are brown. So I think the uh, the atmosphere is not very good over here. That's another, you know, a cool feature from the Eco Balance. Here we're in plus 76. So I made an item here. I made this in the lab. It gives plus 75 Eco effect for a duration of 30 minutes. So I made that here. In the academy, you can also you can also buy fertilities. So I wasted about ten grand trying to flick through the the items, trying to get corn. I should have just made it in here. So the academy and the research it really expands the game and lets you play how you want to play. Warning: production breakdown. Haven't had an oil spill yet, so that's good. Let's see how our vegetables are going. Still on two. This guy's bringing back 30, so that's good. See how eco is minus 51. If I brought that up into the positive and even up to 200 or 100, these vegetable fields would be producing at about 150%, which means I wouldn't need as much. But the problem is, you see, I have this river sewage treatment plan, it gives plus 300 eco. But the drawback is it takes 250 units of power. And it needs a river slot. So I'd have to sacrifice one of these just to build that. Another option is the ozone maker. It's plus 100. It takes 60. So... I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Maybe build some of these offshore wind parks. Let's see if there's anything in the lab that will boost energy. Speed, attack. Increases the energy on one of your islands. Energy production plus 75 for a duration of 30 minutes. Productivity plus 25%. So I think I'll, I'll make this for starters. Maybe make a few of them. And it costs 15 tools and 20 building modules. And we have plenty so let's grab some tools and building modules. 
We've got 300 tons, or 230 tons, so plenty of them. So we're making plus 1500 credits. That's excellent. Our research speed is at 500% because I have all these researchers around here. So let's go ahead and make the generator plus 75 energy production. Warning. Decreased fertility due to pollution. That's going to take 8 minutes. Our our peace treaty expires in one minute with Hector. Let's build some more wind farms. A plus 79. So we can put one ozone maker station in. Need 30 tools. Energy supply inadequate. Energy seems fine on all islands. Not sure what that's about. With just the spike, because we're on plus five. Okay, let's grab some tools. Renewable modules. Registering eco balance degradation. There we go, plus 100. This should take us up to about plus 50. We're on 19 power. Eco balance. Values rising. So our eco balance plus 75 has run out. Registering increasing fertility. Our vegetable farms and all these other farms. Warning. Production halt. They're running at 111% and rising. So instead of just building more farms, it's worth investing in eco improvements. And if I build a port. Here. Build some wind parks.
That's plus 99. I'll be able to build another one of these. Is this finished? No. Three minutes. Grab some more supplies. Our vegetables are going up, they're on 20 now. Health food is still low, but we have the materials. So we can build some more factories. them. Another plus hundred, that's going to be awesome. Our production has gone up to 131%. Beautiful. Basically for every three farms, we're getting a, a fourth farm for free. That goes for every single island here, every single production building that has farms. Module construction finalized. Plus 75. Registering improvement in each. It only has plus 8, so why don't we just uh, initialize it here? There we go. That'll give, that'll give us 30 minutes of an extra 75 energy. Registering increasing fertility. Modern construction methods do make things a little easier, don't they? Game saved. Let's build our children up. Did you receive permission to continue building? Yes, please. Enough. Outstanding. Okay. Registering. It takes energy to keep building. I should have used this over here. Decreased fertility. Construction work has That's stopped. okay. Why? We have resources here, so we'll build a tower. Registering improvement in eco balance. The construction plans for the building. So we're, we're in the last phase now. Need 300 tools, 160 glass, no problem. It's just going to take a bit of time. The eco effect is amazing. It's minus 114 and still dropping. 
takes up 200 power but once it's finished everything will be fine so here's the construction phase the last one there are men walking around escalators elevators it's a busy work site Trains. Designed to be environmentally friendly. But the production of it is very unenvironmentally friendly. Minus one hundred and forty. It's gigantic. How many workers do you thousands thousands okay so that's the city just happened to be in the area anyone need it? Hector hasn't declared war on us but we could declare war on him maybe we'll do that in the next couple of episodes build up the fleet a little bit more This is at 3%. Exemplary. Hopefully it'll be done by the next episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please rate. Please comment. Catch you later.